Hi, my name is Ronnie Lee, and this is my digital observation video for Education 50, Section 2, for fall of 2018. So Bullard High School has been under construction for some time. It's being renovated to match its surrounding area. The classrooms are getting all brand new technology for the students in the future, including new laptops and new smart boards. It's located in a richer neighborhood, but it does have a security gate surrounding the campus because there's some crime activity that happens around the school. For example, the teacher has found some gun shells outside of his classroom, and the school has had a real bomb um, and shooting threat um, twice in the last year. The teacher and the students have a good relationship. The teacher always greets the students when they walk in the door, and lately, because it's almost Christmas break and things are starting to wind down, they've been having some dance parties at the end of class, and they cheer each other on, and they, it's like a little party for them, and it's super fun to see them doing that. The teachers had a lot of great, great quotes that he uses in class. He has TMT, KTM, TM, T, TMT. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And this is just telling them to focus on the big picture, follow that one thing that you're trying to do and get it done. The students call themselves BGHs, which is a big game hunter, which is they're kind of like the lions of the pack. They're the top. They're proud to be themselves and doing what they're doing. Anyways, ask WWMLD, which is just, would I be doing this as the teacher? Is this something that I would let you guys do? Is this a good idea? The students do say these things all the time, and they've kind of become things for them to live by. Um, since it is located in a richer, richer neighborhood, um, it does have some surrounding areas um, where students um, come from lower socioeconomic backgrounds, and this qualifies them as a Title I school. The school uses the money they get um, to make technology more accessible to all the students. The students are respectful to each other, and they sit and listen to what he has to say during class. The teacher always makes sure to greet the students when they walk in, just to make them feel special and important when they come in, and they are always excited to see the teacher when they come into class. The teacher himself dresses and acts in a professional manner, which earns him the respect of the students and allows him to have fun with them when it is appropriate. Um, acting in a professional manner allows you to draw that line of having fun, but one, only when it's appropriate and only when the teacher allows it. One theme um, from our text was inclusion, and this was observing in a special education classroom. Um, so I was able to see these students really want to be included and in getting to see them be included with those other students that would come in and help, and they want to work and interact with others <clears throat> around them. I was also able to see a situation where deficit thinking could have totally taken place, but it didn't. The teacher was very good with that. He Everything the student, the student said he would take into account, and he'd make it be important, and all those all the contributions were equal, and even if it was just making other students laugh, it added something to the classroom. The teacher would put the constant content standard on the board in class, so we were able. I was able to see the level of cognition and then the content that the students were um, learning, and this related back to the conversation in the last couple weeks in class. The school website does show the type and quality of education they want to provide to their students. There's this information about equity and inclusion programs that student that they offer so students can have more success in education. They also have an accountability program that focuses on keeping students in the classroom instead of removing them for bad behavior. This is teaching them to take account for what they did and own up to what they did um, instead of just taking them out and giving them a slap on the wrist, you know, for something that they've done. This is teaching them to look, own up to what they did and to learn what they did was wrong. So the students sit in rows in class. There are a few that sit in the back with a one-on-one -on -one aid. This um, helps allow them more time with the teacher so they can have a better chance of mastering the curriculum. The teacher expects the students to come in and be ready to learn. He expects them to try hard to learn and put all the effort in they can. He does this and he establishes the rules and he sticks to them. He also has the sayings, um, like I said, on the wall and the students do see them and they use them in class. School achievement is the extent to which a school or teacher or student is able to reach a long or short term goal um, in education. And this kind of just applies to life in general. All the children I feel are being offered equal education opportunities. They all have the same access to technology and materials in the classroom in order to achieve the education goals that they need and that they want and that are set in the classroom. Students are taught to respect each other's contributions. They're just learning to respect each other as human beings. This is something I feel is important in the classroom. It's teaching them to be good um, people in, in society. The school hosts an assembly for all students that focus on respect and inclusion amongst each other. If you can respect someone else is just another human being, then you should be able to respect their contributions to the classroom and just in life. The school culture is very welcoming. The students are kind to one another and they seem to hang out with those that are like them in some way, someone they have a similar interest, a hobby, their race, ethnicity, just where they come from. 
And students seem proud to be a bullet knight. They seem proud to be a student from that school. I found some information in our lectures and texts that supported what I saw during my observations um, at Bullard, um, especially in regards to the inclusion um, and special education, um, like disabilities in classrooms and learning how to work with them and um, how it can affect students and the teacher and all that. I was surprised by the class size that they have. There was um, almost 30 students in a class and since it is special education, I would think the class sizes are smaller. Um, especially because students with learning disabilities, they need that little bit of extra help um, that the teacher can offer. But when there's so many students, the teacher gets spread thin. So I was just wondering what kind of support the teacher would get from administration or other teachers um, in the background to help with that large class load they have. And I learned that there are a lot of growing pains that come with being a teacher and teaching a diverse classroom. The teacher and the students have to work together and grow through these pains, um, but they both have inevitably come out be being better teachers and students in the end. Um, I loved being able to observe in a classroom. I'm thankful to Bullard High School for letting me come in. I am thankful for the teacher for opening his door and the students for also being welcoming of me.